Hi all, Ashley here. Hope you're doing well. Today I'm coming on to share a bunch of new fun dyes I received and then also I thought we could make something with them. So these are coming from Scrap Diva Designs. Her website is scrapdivadesigns.com. I'll link everything in the description bar below along with a discount code if you want to check it out and then get 10% off of your purchase. Um, some of these are brand new dyes that are releasing this month and uh, some of them are from previous releases that she's had. So I'm really excited to share all of these with you. This is the first one. This is um, Loaded Pockets Mall and it's a 13 piece set. So you get these uh, like outer pieces and then you also get a separate piece that makes a little pocket. Um, and it has happy mail on here. Those are the word, word dies that it comes with. And then this one is called Conversation Hearts. This is a 12 piece set. And this is another one of the new releases from this month. This one is so cute. This is a coin purse um, and it's an 11 piece set. And I already have an idea for what I wanna make with this. So really fun. I don't have anything like that in my stash. Actually, I don't have anything like any of these items in my stash. So that's pretty fun to get like some unique uh, unique designs. So this one is really a uh, cool concept actually. So this is a box maker. It's called uh, box making strips and it's a four piece set total. It's got these shorter ones and then there's some longer ones in here as well. Um, and so you cut out these strips and then it helps you make, you can make like standard boxes, but you could also make like um, unique shaped boxes. So this is really useful for making if you have like a curved thing that you want to turn into a, a box, like a circle shape or any any other shape too. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to play with this one. That is a really cool idea. And then guys, there's a bear in this, in this um, uh, release. So this is a bear gumball machine add-on. Um, and yeah, I think I might just use this as just a bear though. <laughs> so there's a separate die. Uh, she did send that one too. This is one she released before. This is um, the Easter gumball machine. And um, you could add this bear as like on top of the gumball, but um, on top of the gumball machine. Um, but yeah, if I'm just like really happy to have a little bear die. That's so cute. And then, uh, and then, yeah, so then this, these other ones are like older ones from her shop. So this one is the gumball machine I was just mentioning. And then this one I think is from last month, like Valentine's themed. These are Valentine's hearts stamps. And then this one is the market stand mini album. Uh, and then this one was called heart postage stamp die set. This one is the Market Stand mini album and really cool. Again, another one that like, I don't have anything like this. I have like a small little cart die, but nothing that's like this size. So that's really cool. And it comes with like all these little extra pieces too that will help um, add a lot of detail to your project. So I'm excited to work with that one. And then the last one is this popsicle, uh, what's it called? Popsicle gift box. <laughs> and um, yeah, so this is, I think this would be fun for like a summer project. Um, but also I was just noticing that like, there's some, like this is a really good, just shaker frame basic piece too. Comes with a lot of good things. This piece too could be like a paint, painterly piece. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, like lots of lots of pieces to this one, so it can be cool in different ways, I think. But yeah, so these are all the dyes that I'll be playing with this month. Um, thanks to Erica for sending these over to me. And um, I thought we would start, I mean, if you've seen some of my recent videos, I think you know which one I'm gonna start with. <laughs> I thought we could start with just making a little bear um, shaped project and then maybe adding in some photos of my pup into it. Um, so let me do some die cutting and then I will be back. Okay, so I did some die cutting and some embellishing and I made my first little project and I think it came out really sweet. Um, and so I'll flip through it. I made a little binder ring mini album with some charms dangling off of it. And the first page is a little shaker page. This 
a shaker page I made using a pretty similar process to what I've shared recently on my channel, like the um, shaker paperclip tutorial, where I make a tracing tool for myself, and then I stick this on a page protector. I use my fuse tool to outline it, and then I add in my sequence mix. Um, I stitch all around to close it shut, and that gives me my little shaker pocket, my little sh shaker pouch. And then to embellish, I just use the other pieces from the dog to add in all the like little face detailing. And then I gave him a little bow tie <laughs> um, from the Maggie Holmes Sweet Story Collection. And I think it came out really cute. And even in the shaker mix, you can see there are little shaker bits. Well, maybe, hopefully you can see there are little shaker mix of uh, pieces of bears <laughs> holding a strawberry. Um, and that's my first page. And then for like the pages in the album, I some of them are like just straight die cut onto the photo. So it's a full picture of bear, um, full like page of bear. And then some of them are embellished using the Rosie Studio uh, Simply Charming collection. And just like different elements from that. So like the chipboard pieces, puffy stickers, ephemera, um, is what I used for embellishing. Got this little like house page where I popped up some of the pieces, some of the houses, and then another, this is like a little two by two photo. And then some more embellishing here, a little bit more stitching detail. And I had just enough sequence mix to make a second pocket page, so I had to make it. And that is my like back cover. And yeah, I hope you guys like seeing all the dyes today and my first little project. I'll be sharing weekly projects, so stay tuned for that. And um, like I said, I will link stuff, all the details in the description. So check out the website. There's a lot on there. Um, and the discount code is Ashley10 if you want to get 10% off of your purchase. And hope you'll like and subscribe. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.